that kids love to be social just as much, if not more, than, than grown-ups. They love to show off. I mean, it's scary because things move so fast. So if you are very open-minded and uh, uh, innovative and a little playful, you can just try new things. The, just the sheer volume of screens that children can consume content on has increased, and we need to be wherever they are. The kids that are watching us want new, and they want exciting, and they want events. And we need to be offering that to them on a very regular basis. For us this year, it's all about pure comedy. Uh, kids need to laugh, they want to laugh all the time, and that's what we try and bring them. It was my experience with Fred, in addition to watching the way my own kids consume content, that made me realize there was a real disruption brewing. The fact is for teens, their devices provide a gateway to their community of friends, and more importantly, to consuming the content they love. Me, you, us adults, we like to eat meals, right? But kids, they snack, and they snack a lot. We're gonna live everywhere. I mean, uh, YouTube is just the beginning. The values and the habits of parents really are key determinants for the child's orientation towards media. The lines here are really, really blurring between kids who want to play with these devices and parents who create this family media ecology.